Dear students, I have come with a new module, computation of rank correlation coefficient when ranks are equal. So this is an important adjustment. Most of the problems when you are asked to compute rank correlation coefficient, they will you will get values where ranks are equal. So you have to do one correction factor. That is what we are going to learn in this module. I will explain with the help of two problems. Here, sometimes ranks, the values will be getting the same rank. See, for example, marks in accountancy. If one student is getting 30, another student is also getting 30. So, how you will assign the ranks? So, in this case, two ranks are, we have to give 3 plus 4 divided by 2. That is equal to 3.5. Another example is, if three students are getting the same marks 30, then how you will assign the ranks? Imagine when you are assigning the ranks, these ranks should have been 3, 4 and 5. So, how you will take the average rank? 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 3. So, all the marks in 30 will get the fourth rank. In the previous case, all the 30 values will be getting the rank 3.5. So, this is how you will assign the average ranks. Now, formula for computation, you have to use a correction factor. Correction factor is 1 by 12 into m cube minus n. But we are adding to the value of sigma d square because we know that rank correlation coefficient is computed as 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n cube minus n. So, with the d square values, we will add the correction factor. Now, how many times this correction factor has to be added? That depends on how many corrections you are adding to the rank value. That meaning how many values are repeated. So, if two values are repeated, in x series and y series. That meaning you will have two correction factors to be added to sigma d square. If three values are there, three correction factors are there. That is 1 by 12 into m cube minus m. Now, first problem I will do that. Calculate rank correlation coefficient from the following data. Values of x 48, 33, 49, 16 and 16. So, these values are repeated. 65, 24, again 16 is repeated. So, 3 places value 16 is repeated and the last value is 57. Y series 13, 31, again 31. That meaning 31 is repeated. Now, you have to do the correction factor. Next value is 6, then 15, 4, 20, 9, 6 and 19. So, value 6 is also repeated in this series. So, 3 correction factors we have to add in this problem while solving the problem. Now, how we have assigned the ranks? We know that we are taking the same order for X series and Y series. If highest rank is given for X series, the same method we are following for Y series also. So, 65, if you take say, X series, 65 is the highest value that is getting the first rank. 57 is the second value that will get the second rank. 48, third rank, 40, fourth rank, 33rd, fifth rank, 24th, sixth rank. Now, 16 is repeated three times. So, the ranks would have been 7, 8 and 9. So, 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. All the 16 values, we will give the rank 8. Now, 9, the last value. So, up to 9, we have allocated for 16. Now, the only the last value is remaining. The last value is 9, that will get the 10th rank. So, we have to be very careful. Up to 9 ranks you have assigned, though you are writing 8 as the rank, because that is the average rank for the 3 values you calculated. Now, you have left with only one value that is the 10th value that is getting the 10th rank. Now, values for Y series we have to assign. So, when I am reading the problem, I told you two correction factors are there. Two values are repeated. One is 31 and one is 6. Now, 31 is the highest value that is repeated twice. That meaning first and second value is 31. Now, how you take that? 1 plus 2 divided by 2. That means first rank plus second rank divided by 2, 1.5. So, against 31, we will write 1.5 is the rank for the first value and second rank also 1.5. So, second is getting the third rank. Now, here you remember that 20 is getting the third rank, not the second rank because first and second ranks we have already assigned as 1.5. Now, 20 will get the third rank. 19, fourth rank. 15 gets the fifth rank. Now, 6 is repeated twice. So, the ranks will be 8 and 9 divided by 2. That is equal to 8.5. Now, the last value 4 is getting the 10th rank. Now, when you will see the problem, you know that X series is there. Whatever ranks we have assigned, we are writing in as R1. Y series is there. We are Whatever ranks we have assigned, we are writing as R2. 
now we are taking the deviations r1 minus r2 now d square values you have to take the total you are getting 52 r d you have to remember that minus signs are there and plus signs are there now you have to compute the rank correlation coefficient so three correction factors we have to use in this equation because x series we have used one and y series we have used two correction factors now we have to see that how you will use the correction factor please remember that x series one value is repeated three times so that is when you are computing the rank correlation rs is equal to 1 minus 6 into 52 is the d square total plus value is repeated three times so we will write 1 by 12 into 3 cube minus 3 for y series two values are repeated two times so 1 by 12 into 2 cube minus 2 plus 1 by 12 into 2 cube minus 2 because you have to remember that m stands for number of items the values repeated that is why again i am repeating x series one value is repeated three times so the correction factor is 3 cube minus 3 y series two values are repeated two times so that is 2 cube minus 2 we are adding two times now you will get the value of rank correlation coefficient as plus 0 0.66667 that is moderately high rank correlation that means rank for x series is high meaning rank for y series also will be high or vice versa that meaning if rank for x series is less for y series also it will be less now we can do the second problem compute correlation coefficient using the rank differences method for the following data and the spearman's rank correlation coefficient we have to do so data given is marks in accountancy and marks in economics marks in accountancy 25 30 38 22 50 70 30 and 90 so you can see that value 30 is repeated for marks in accountancy so correction factor has to be applied similarly marks in economics 50 40 60 40 30 20 40 and 70 so 40 is repeated three times again correction factor we have to use here for the marks in economics or the y series also now we can see the solution x series is there and whatever ranks we have assigned is there in the as the r1 values values of y whatever ranks we have assigned for y series r2 values now deviation r1 minus r2 plus signs will be there minus signs will be there now you have to take the d square values and you have to take the total value this is 81.5 now for x series 30 is repeated twice and y series 40 is repeated thrice so two correction factors will be there in the formula that is x series 1 by 12 into m cube minus n m will be 2 cube minus 2 that meaning 2 the value 30 is repeated twice whereas for y series 40 is repeated thrice that meaning 1 by 12 into 3 cube minus 3 this is an important point you have to remember that so when you substitute the values you will get rank correlation coefficient as 0 that meaning there is no relationship between marks in accountancy and marks in statistics this is what i want to explain with this module thank you